Hi, my name is Maya Augustine, and this is my video submission for the TED Talk having to do with the language of being human. What did Poet Ali do to make this presentation verbally and non-verbally effective? Poet Ali made it verbally effective due to the fact that he was organized in his presentation. From start to end, he knew exactly what he was going to say and when he was going to say it. You could tell he practiced what he was going to say. As well as everything was very fluent, there wasn't any any awkward transition words such as um or like. It was non-verbally effective due to his eye contact that he kept throughout the whole presentation where he looked at every section of the crowd, as well as his hand motions. He was always using his hands as emphasis to what he was saying. What did you observe as efficient verbal and non-verbal skills that you should consider for your own video presentations? I think that my video presentations could use some of the verbal and nonverbal skills he used, such as eye contact, hand motions, and including the, including the listener or viewer into what I'm saying, having them relate to me. So what are the observed strengths and do you see any presentation skills that you believe can be improved? His strengths definitely were having the audience involved. At one point, the whole audience was standing and they were completely involved and part of what he was trying to explain. I don't really think anything can be improved from him. He really was spot on and caught the interest of not just the crowd, but pretty much anyone watching the video as well. What was my takeaway from watching Poet Ali's message? My takeaway is that we don't only speak to each other through like Latin languages. We're not just speaking to each other in French, English, Spanish. You know, when I think of language, I think I only speak English and Spanish. But he kind of explained that language can be experiences or something you have in common with someone, such as he explained that language gives access to relating to someone with insecurities with their body, financial struggles, a loved one battling cancer, or a disconnection through your phone or social media. I thought this was very important and was definitely a big takeaway from his speech. What are your thoughts after having viewed the 14 minute video? Well, after viewing the video, it kind of made me think to myself how much work I can put into public speaking and how it can really impact the viewer and change the way that they think about me or what I'm saying. What did he inspire you to think about? New approaches and understandings. He inspired me to think about that not everyone is so different than you think, and even if we do speak different languages or we are what you would think is different, we can learn from each other things that we might not know or would like to know. Do you see any changes or problems with his unique perspectives? I think his perspectives are definitely very unique, but I think that they're all relatable. Everyone took something from his presentation. There wasn't really anyone who seemed like they didn't enjoy his presentation. I definitely did. I think that it really inspired me. So I'm going to share my thoughts and ideas of what they think what I think would this presentation has taken into my own viewpoint and what's going to help me in this class. First off I think that this presentation is going to help me in this class because it shows me what eye contact should be like. Eye contact should be straight on, you should be talking to the viewer and if you are in a big crowd you should be talking to not only just one section of the crowd but everywhere. Also he really showed emphasis in hand in his hands and talking with his hands. It really showed that he cared and he was passionate about what he was saying. Not only that but he really related to every part of the audience. He he came up with several examples and I think that making yourself and the person who's viewing you on the same page and having that relation between you two where you can both agree on something really makes that presentation or that video so much more intimate. So I feel like this, you know, this overall TED Talk is going to really help with this course, especially when I'm going into interviews, even if they are virtual. 
it's so important to know how to speak to someone. And if they are in person, even better, be able to use that hand and eye contact and be able to like create relations with the person you're talking to. The more personal you get with them, the more they're going to remember that experience, experience with you. So thank you very much.